Pahingos! Welcome again to another lecture discussion on the different topics of psychology, giving you only the basic tenets, the core concepts, and the most important information you need to learn. I hope this is useful for you, and please share this to others. Let's help everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe in my channel. Everyone, we will going to have another discussion on the major theories of personality. For this time, we're going to have a lecture about psychoanalytic social theory by Karen Horn I. All right, so let's learn more about the theory of psychoanalytic social theory. So for this theory, the social and cultural conditions for shaping personality and as well as a childhood experiences. Is, a very, is very important. So this is like the combination of psychoanalysis of, of Freud plus the social and cultural factor. Okay? So according to her, everyone is a real or potential competitor of everyone else. Let's learn bakit ganyan ang pagtingin ni Hornay. Okay. Little information about Karen Hornay. Okay. Freiburg, he worked with neurotics, published the teaching of psychoanalytic therapy in 1917, left Germany and become associate director of Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute. He abandoned psychoanalysis in favor of a more socially or or oriented theory, founder of, of her own clinic. Okay, so basic assumptions of psychoanalytic social theory is social and cultural conditions, especially childhood experiences, are largely responsible for social, uh, for shaping the behavior. Just like what I said, social and cultural experiences and conditions are very important. Okay. Horn, I believe that uh, there is what you called nutritive soil of neurosis is basic anxiety that may develop over over time so basic an anxiety becomes the source all right of neurosis that can develop to an individual horn i hypothesized that a difficult childhood is primarily responsible for the neurotic needs we have 10 neurotic needs that we're going to discuss all right, we also have three neurotic trends. Basic hostility. Okay, what is basic hostility? This people who do not have their needs for love and affection satisfied during childhood develops basic hostility towards their parents. Okay? Ayun. The first reaction to parental indifference by a child is anger. As a consequence, they suffer from basic anxiety. So, kahit daw bata ka pa, you can experience basic anxiety, even if you're still child. Okay, so basic hostility happens if, you know, if hindi na satisfy yung need mo. Okay. Basic anxiety moving forward results from basic hostility, fear of helplessness and abandonment, feeling of being isolated and helpless in a world conceived as potentially hostile. Unha katakot o walang kasiguraduhan. People combat basic anxiety by adopting one of the three fundamental styles of relating to others. So, f f I think familiar kayo sa mata, di ba? Yung moving away, moving toward, and moving against. Di ba? That's how people try to combat basic anxiety in accordance to the theory of Horney. Normal individuals may use any of these modes of relating to people. So, normal in individuals, they, tr they, they can try to shift from moving away, moving towards, or moving against. But for those who have, who are experiencing neurosis, they just rely, rely on one trend or, or style of relating to others. Okay? Neurotic individuals are compelled to rigidly rely only into one style, alright, of relating to others. 
for her, he has protective devices. So, si Freud, meron siyang defense mechanism. Si Adler, safeguarding tendencies. Si Hornay, meron siyang protective devices. So, this is the defenses against basic anxiety of real or imagined hostility. Okay? So, first is power, prestige, or possession. Yung pos, familiar siguro kay sa pos. So, this is to dominate, to protect against humiliation, buffer against destitution and poverty. Alright. Affection naman may try to purchase love with self effacing compliance or material goods or sexual favors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next is withdrawal. Developing an independence from others or by becoming emotionally detached from them and submissiveness this is people may submit themselves to people or institutions for example you are trying to submit yourself towards an organization or a particular religion something like that okay so ayun, those are the protective devices moving to the compulsive drives Neurotic people have the same problem affecting normal people except that they experience it on a greater degree. So, normal lang daw na magkaroon ng basic anxiety. Okay? So, pero for those people who have neurosis, they suffer it most deeply or mas malala. Normal people use a variety of defensive maneuvers in a useful way while neurotic people compulsively repeat the same strategy in an unproductive manner. So, the three fundamental styles of relating to others. So, we can compare normal and neurotic defenses for moving toward people. They have friendly, loving personality. Okay? But, um, on the other hand, it has a compliant personality. So, sige ka lang, comply ng comply kahit hindi na okay para sa'yo. O hindi ka na masaya. Moving against people is a survivor in a competitive society but in the other hand it can have a aggressive personality so yun yung madalas ka ng mangaway ng tao madalas ka ng nagagalit ganyan you're becoming violent and aggressive moving away from people you have an autonomous serene personality so on the other hand you have a detached personality or hindi ka na sumasama or you're trying to not join a particular group okay those are the fundamental styles of relating to others okay so we have 10 categories of different neur neurotic needs so I'm going to cut to simply categorize them into three okay into three uh, basic trends neurotic trends this are, this are moving towards, move, moving against, and moving away. So what are those, those 10? First is for affection and approval for a powerful partner to restrict one's life's narrow borders and for power. This is under moving towards. For moving against, we have to exploit others for social recognition or prestige, for personal admiration, and for ambition. That is for moving against. And for the last one, moving away, this is for self-sufficiency and, and independence, for perfection and prestige. Okay. So this is the summary on the book of Feist. You can see here the different neurotic trends. Okay. So, let's discuss the intrapsychic conflicts. So, these are the conflicts we have in our mind, okay? Originated from the interpersonal experiences we have. So, it can become part of a person's belief system that they develop a life of their own, an existence separate from the interpersonal conflicts that gave them life. Okay? So, first intrapsychic conflict we have is the idealized self-image. This is painting a godlike picture of yourself. 
Alright? So, feeling alienated from themselves, people need desperately to acquire a, a stable sense of identity. There is a delusion of grandeur. Right? That is the idealized self-image. For under this, we have three categories. Neurotic search for glory. This is like the comprehensive drive towards actualizing the ideal self. Neurotic search for glory is the comprehensive drive of self-actualization. I mean self-idealization. This is the tyranny of the should. Kailangan ganito, dapat ganito, kailangan ganyan, hindi pwede dapat ganyan. Okay. The three elements is the need for perfection, neurotic ambition, and drive towards a vindictive triumph. Okay. These are the three elements under this, uh, under this, which is neurotic search for glory. Neurotic claims, this refers to building a fantasy world. Neurotics build a fantasy Builds a fantasy world, a world that is out of sync with the real world. They proclaim that they are special and therefore entitled to be treated in accordance to their idealized self-image. Neurotic pride is a false pride based on a realistic view. Okay, but this is spurious. But I mean, this is uh, this is spurious image of the idealized self it is a false pride it means hindi siya totoo okay it is not true self-hatred another intra intrapsychic conflict aside from idealized self-image is self-hatred this is irrational and powerful tendency to despise one's real self when you realize that there is that your real self does not match the inshatable demands of their idealized self, they will begin to hate and despise themselves. Okay? This is quite irrational. Alright, that is self-hatred. So you so you hated yourself because hindi mo siya na-achieve yung ganito, hindi mo nakuha yung ganito, you failed from something. Okay? That is self-hatred. Six ways to express self-hatred. Relentless demands of the self or the tyranny of the should. Kailangan ganito, kailangan ganyan. Merciless self-accusation. Sinisisi mo yung self mo palagi. Self-contempt. You try to ridicule or doubt yourself. Your skills. Self-frustration. Okay? So kapag hindi mo nakuha to, you will feel frustrated. Of something there is a pressure in yourself self torment or self torture or pinaparusahan mo yung sarili mo right this is how you ex you express self hatred self destructive actions and impulses so dito na yung pwede ka nang maglaslas pwede mo nang pwede mo nang sirain yung katawan mo you try to make or do destructive actions okay to yourself or towards others ayun so these are the six ways to express self-hatred for theories of her not for the theory of karen hornay na emphasize niya yung feminine psychology so this is the psychological differences between men and women are not the result of the anatomy but rather because of the culture and social expectation so hindi daw magkaiba ang pagtingin ng tao this is only because of the culture this is hindi cost yung vagina tsaka yung penis hindi yun yung factor yung differences nila it is rather because of culture and yung expectation ng, ng, ng ating society Hornay insisted that basic anxiety is the core of men's need to subjugate women and women's wish to humiliate men. Ayun. Application of psycholo of this theory of Hornay. So, for her psychotherapy, it focuses on the development of self-realization through self-analysis. Ayun. Okay, so she also utilizes some techniques as same as Freud. Successful when patients can assume responsibilities for their psychological development. 
So this is the goal of the Hornean therapy. To help patients gradually grow in the direction of self-realization. Importante yung self-realization. Give up their idealized self-image and relinquish their neurotic search for glory. Change self-hatred to self-acceptance. Ayun, those are the goals of the Hornean psychotherapy. Also, focus on love, mastery, and freedom. Alright, so that's all for our discussion on the theory of Karen Hornay. I hope you've learned something from that. Thank you so much for listening and for watching, and see you soon next time. And that's all for today, my egos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you share this to others, and don't forget to subscribe.